What's up? It is Cody from Keepers of Nerdum. How y'all doing? Let's talk a little bit about Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 3, and, you know, Mandalorian overall, right? This is... Okay, so first two episodes very much are like fetch quests, uh, do a mission, get a reward, kind of have some storyline kind of going, and sometimes some of the stuff hasn't really resulted in any anything. I, I feel like we are having, you know, a robot character, a droid, that we're just wanting to use because it's, hey, look, look, that's the thing from Star Wars, you know, the original stuff. And, you know, it's fun, but yet you just got to be careful with that, like, too too many, uh, I guess, what do they call them, member berries, where it's just it just escalates a little too far. So, uh, okay, just you need to keep in mind that this is clearly, you know, spoilers at this point. Because s- episode three of season three is very much, okay, Mandalorian stuff at the beginning – Mandalorian stuff at the end, and there's some cool dogfight stuff uh, with the Mandalorian and uh, like Bo-Katan. It, 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 it's fun, but then there's like 30 minutes plus in the middle of this episode where completely different story, completely different focus, new characters, you know, or I say new characters, like characters we've seen before, but reintroduced, and they're in a re rehabilitation program to work with the New Republic and not be part of the Empire or some vestiges of that. And it's boring. Like, it is so boring because they they spend time together, but the scientist that they're focused on, he's super awkward. And then there's the other character that's like a behind-the-scenes character. I can't even remember where she was from at, in the, the Empire stuff. I don't remember her. That's so frustrating. Right? Even they had a flashback stuff at the very beginning of the episode, and I still don't remember exactly what she was, but she looks familiar. And it boils down to she keeps just trying to get him to to break the rules and to do this stuff. And then after he breaks the rules and goes with her to a star destroyer that's being taken apart and got she he gets a lab equipment, she betrays him and turns him over to the the New Republic. And it's like why? Just make a report and go, yeah, he's he's wanting to continue his research. You, you kind of get the feeling like obviously she's trying to actually betray the, the New Republic really in the long term. Because she walks away with the lab equipment from the guards. Like they don't confiscate it or anything from her. And you just go, you, you this is someone that's supposed to be on your side. And then you just let them walk away with evidence. This doesn't make sense, and that evidence is going to come back up and somehow be in the hands of the Empire. It, it is, because it was lab equipment used that the guy wanted to use for like cloning experiments. And it's like, why not just, if you want this guy actually, recruit him fully and use him? It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Uh, this episode was so stupid. Uh, it's, it's just stupid. And if you... Okay, let me just get really, really honest. If you think this was a good episode... What were you watching? Nothing was happening. We were walking through an amusement park for a while, and nothing was happening. It was supposed to be like character building, but most of it was just the same stuff over and over. And it was trying to show you like the eventual breakdown of a person going, okay, fine, I'll go do it. But you didn't care about these people, and you could have done it a lot faster. It's not that hard to just go, okay, montage it instead of let's make this take – 30 plus minutes, it probably was more of like 40 because I don't think the beginning scene and the end scene were very long at all. Like it was, it was ridiculous how how long this section was and just bad, just bad. It was terrible. I, the other thing, like at the end, the guy is captured and he's going through a rehabilitation like machine that's going to not erase his memories but mess with his head. And they're all like, it's, we're the New Republic. We're not like that. You know, like, okay. And she's in there. And she, then she's like, I want to stay a little longer and, and watch because he's like my friend. And then all of a sudden, she's the only one left in the room, in, in the room where the guy was and in the room where it's observation. And so she can just do whatever she wants. And then she adjusts the machine and turns it like crazy high. It's so stupid. 
It's so stupid. So dumb. I I am thoroughly like there's no cameras. We've seen them in the prequels. They have cameras. You're not gonna notice, oh, this guy like suffered a major thing because the machine got turned up. Well there was nobody else in the room, so it must have been her. The logic on display in this episode was almost Book of Boba Fett levels of bad. The storytelling was on the level of Book of Boba Fett levels of bad. I didn't expect that. Like, we got done with that episode, and my wife was just like, this is not good. This was supposed to be The Mandalorian, and all it was was a completely separate story with Mandalorian sections at the beginning and at the end. And they weren't much. It was just kind of things that we already knew were coming, you know, other than, like, the, the I guess the dog fight. But yet, that's not shocking because it's like, okay, we need some action in this episode, essentially, and that's what it was. And at the end, it was more of, hey, Bo-Katan's now part of the, the little cult version of Mandalorians. Okay, cool. She doesn't want to be, so why is this important, right? This is silly. I don't know. I don't know. I really just was not impressed with this episode, and that was sad because the first two have been interesting at least. And it's like, okay, this this show usually starts kind of slow and then builds up to epic big story payoffs. And that may be the case here, but this was so slow it just train it just derailed everything. Like it wasn't good. Let me know what your thoughts are about episode three, but I'll be honest, like that really made me pretty nervous to want to even watch the rest of it. I don't know. But yeah, what did you think of episode three? Leave, let me know down in the comments below. Take care, y'all.